the Jackson County area now, and if you're hoping to get scared this Halloween season, we have just the place for you. News 13's Tess Roland joins us live from Cottondale this morning with one family's spooky creation. Good morning, Tess. Hey, good morning, Aaron. Enter if you dare. This is truly a very scary spot, and I'm live this morning with Mr. Walter Mosier. He is the founder of the Field of Screams. So, Walter, you actually started as a farmer. This is your field. What sparked this creation 12 years ago? Well, it was just something that us and the kids played with, and uh, once it hit social media, it just took off from there. So, this is we're in our 12th year. We're expecting a big crowd. Everything's fixed up and ready to go. Yeah, it is. We'll give you guys a live look inside. They do this. They're starting this weekend and then they'll go up to Halloween weekend. Tickets are $13. It starts at 7 p.m. And what's really cool about this also is, again, it's your own family that's going to be participating and putting on the scares, right? That's true. We have uh, we have a big family. We have four daughters and now we got four son-in-laws and a bunch of grandchildren. So everybody participates and, uh, and a lot of good friends. It's helped us since we started 12 years ago, still helping us. Yeah, so let's kind of go inside this maze a little bit to give, you know, viewers a look at everything and also tell me, you know, this year is the first year that you're going to do a hayride for the kids at home that maybe don't want to be as scared, right? That's right. For the uh, smaller children or the parents that don't want to go through the corn maze, we'll have a hayride. It's, uh, it's props only, no live characters, but it's a nice hayride out in the back pasture and uh, I think everybody will enjoy it. Yeah, so you know, this event has really grown as well. So it started 12 years ago and you initially saw a thousand people. Now, how many people are you seeing? Right at 4,000 this past year. So we've been really excited and uh, had to change a few things in here so the corn would last for that many people. But yeah. so far, so good. Yeah, how have you been scaring people for 12 years? How have you changed your tactics ag again to keep it fresh? Chainsaws, chainsaws. It's, everybody <laughs> loves the chainsaws. They hate them, but they love them. Yeah, so that seems to be the secret. There is just a lot of chainsaws. And what can we see you as maybe as a character this year? Can you give us a hint? Probably Freddy. Freddy needs me on a diet, but probably Freddy. <laughs> but we'll see what works out. All right. Well, you're here to hear first. If you see Freddy, you can know it's Walter and maybe be a little less scared or again, <laughs> enter if you dare. Uh, but again, live in Cottondale this morning, Tess Roland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.